East German Zontmenschen in the Palace of the Republic. East German Zontmenschen in a hot air balloon. Unser Zontmenschen, das Zontmenschen, der Bengruss, a Bengruss, der Sandmann. Sandmann, Zontmenschen is a German children's bedtime television program using stop motion animation. The puppet was based on the old Lukoye character by Hans Christian Andersen. Two versions of Zontmenschen were created, one in East Germany, and one in West Germany. The series has aired more episodes than any other television series and is the longest running animated television series in history. The West German version of Zontmenschen did not last as long as the East German version that today's German children know is the only one. The original idea came from Ilso Brig of West Berlin TV and radio station Sender Freies Berlin, who with the help of author Joanna Schuppel, developed a working version in 1958. The Little Sandman himself first appeared on screen in West Berlin and Zant mentions Gruß for Kinder on December 1, 1959, and other episodes were soon made. However, on November 22, 1959, East German television Deutsche Fernsehfunk began broadcasting its own Unser Zantmenschen. Complete with its own goodnight, children character, also called Zantmenschen. Created by the puppet master and director Gerhard Barrett, the East German show represented everyday life, travel, and fantastic adventures. The character often showcased socialist technological achievements, such as the use of awe-inspiring vehicles like futuristic cars and flying devices. It was very popular with GDR citizens to the point that after the wall fell, former citizens lamented the appropriation of the beloved cartoon by corporate West German television. The production of the West German version of Zontmenschen ceased in 1991, following the unification of Germany. The East German version was ultimately more popular, and repeats of episodes are still broadcast today. A full-length feature film, The Sandman and the Lost Sand of Dreams, was released in 2010. Gerhard Berendt in 1979 with one of his Zontmenschen. Wolfgang Richter composed the theme to the East German program in just three hours one evening. Wolfgang Krumbach wrote the text. It was sung by the Rundfunk Kinderchor Berlin. Opening verse, translation, there was a second verse which was dropped after the German reunification because it mentions the East German Fernsehfunk which no longer existed, translation, closing verse, translation, the score and overall design of the show was remarkably elaborate for a children's television production. The Sandman often visited other countries, and this fact was frequently emphasized by the use of traditional instrumentation and harmony added to the score. The East German show was shown in many countries, including Western countries like Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. The show was named John Blund in Sweden and Norway, Nakamati in Finland. The theme song in Norway went as follows. In English, this means, the first verse of the theme song in Swedish was, in English, this means, the theme song in Finland was, in English, this means, the. Zant mentioned stories contained a number of characters who remain popular today even after German unification merged the former German Democratic Republic into the Federal Republic of Germany. The Zontmenschen has retained a following, and it continues to be shown every night on German television. Periodic references have been made to it in film and literature. Thanks for watching.